The media is impacted by people around the world. This is a story how a media had an impact on me. Okay, it started when I got into 6th grade. I was watching Spongebob at the time, obviously. Then I saw a preview of a new show that would come out in fall, and the show was called iCarly. When I saw it, it looked alright. It was cool to have Miranda Cosgrove got her own show, unlike Drake and Josh. Which, I know she was one of the mains in Drake and Josh, but she was a more of a side character portraying as Megan pranking his brother and stepbrother. I will admit, first, I thought it was going to be a spinoff of Drake and Josh where it's just Megan and her friends creating a web show. Which, I think Dan Schneider was originally going to plan that. But, scrap the idea. And it's no surprise Dan Schneider was making this show because he made the past shows, including some of the My Childhood shows. So yeah, why right when iCarly premiered in September 2007, I went, eh, I'll wait until the show gets better, but not right now. It wasn't long until one month later it happened. Near the end of October, closer to Halloween time, my parents and I went to a park not far from my hometown. I think it was teachers get together meeting at a park since my dad's a teacher, obviously. The park was nice and the weather was cloudy. We left the park around... 1 p.m. Then by around 4 p.m. it started to rain. By the time we were in town for shopping, my brother Aaron, which he was not with us in town, was going to a party since my brother was a senior at the time. Then he got a call on the phone and just happened. He had an accident while driving. I got worried. The reason why is because if he had a car accident, he would have died. But thankfully he was okay. He accidentally hit a fence from someone's ranch area from a little mile away from my hometown. And you gotta remember, my brother was taking driving lessons and got his license. But that accident could have easily gotten worse. Maybe because, one, it was raining. And two, it was at night. No sunlight, clouds cover up the sun. So my parents decided to head back pretty quickly. The car was dented from the fence. Then my grandparents on my dad's side showed up. My parents told me to go with Grandpa to their house, so I had to go to their house until Aaron's car is clear. So at my grandparents' house, I used their TV to see if there's anything on during around nighttime. I tried Disney Channel, which I could have tried watching Wizard of the Way Place, which was new at the time and sharing the time slot as iCarly. Then there was Don't Look Under the Bed, which Disney Channel airs Halloween movies every single year of October. So I used Nickelodeon instead. No Spongebob during the time slot, but Carly was on, and that was the first time I've ever watched it. The first two episodes I ever watched were I Want to Stay with Spencer, the one where Carly doesn't want to go to Yakima with his granddad, but stay in Seattle with Spencer, and the other one is Ice Cream on Halloween, which was a new one at the time, where Carly and Sam and Freddy go in the apartment where it's being haunted, so, yeah, after watching two episodes of the show, I smiled, which it rarely happens. Even though I wasn't going gaga of Drake and Josh, at least Dan was trying to do something different. I love computers, and even though it had web show based, have that not happened with my brother's car accident and taking to my grandparents' house and watching iCarly, it could have easily changed, and I could have used Disney Channel because... They were kicking butt during 2007, right? Not only that, but the iCarly episode, I Saved Your Life, received 11.2 million viewers on Martin Luther King Jr. Day in 2010. That was the highest rating for a show like this, and I would never thought about it. But yeah, iCarly was a street treat during the beginning when it came out. If I would have watched it, people could have easily asked me to watch it. At least my wish got granted early than I thought. Thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to share and there will be more of my media memories soon where I talk about it. So take care everyone.